Hey everybody, hi AmpRepairGuy.com here. It's been a while since I made a video. I have another Heathkit SP220. This one came in. The guy wants some Harbach modifications done to it. And some other mods that I do. So I'm going to do all the things that I usually do to it and I'll go over everything once they're done. But right now it's Pretty stock. Looks like someone replaced the filter caps. They didn't do a good job. Some clearance issues. The high voltage components to the ground. So I'll fix that. Um, I'm going to put in a Harbach metering board, Harbach filter cap board. He wants a Harbach soft key installed. I have all of those kits here. I'll put a new parasitic resistor. So great amplifiers. I work on these all the time. I don't just fix them. I, I do the, the modifications to them to, to make them more stable. Uh, they'll protect uh, components in them like the uh, film insurance, especially the film transformer. Um, you know, the center tap. I do the bias mod, ground the grids. So about it. Oh, also need to replace the power cord. This one's seen better days. <laughs> so, I'll be back after all the modifications have been completed. But it's a good candidate, nice and clean. So, I'll be back. Okay, here's a better view of this side. You can see here that. Replace the filter caps, reuse the old bleeder resistors. Let's see, there's a chunk of one missing from. Looks like it arced over to the terminal on the cap. So, those will all be coming out. I'm going to replace this wire. Looks like the insulation's off. So, okay, time to get to work. Hi, everybody. Okay, I got the uh, filter cap board installed. I have the metering board installed. Replace the meter lamps. The metering board has meter protection diodes on it. So, I got rid of the diodes that were across the meters. They didn't look that great. Uh, even the proper type so the uh, play voltage meter I'm sorry the play current meter leads were too short so I had to replace them everything looks really good like I said he makes some nice kits so ended up cleaning the multimeter switch, switch, I'm sorry, the rotary switch for the meter that um, performs multiple functions. Clean the input rotary switch. And that's it. Here's the old metering board. Big difference. Uh, he had a connector. This isn't factory. I don't like using connectors like this for metering. If one of these pins were to get dirty, it could cause issues. So, got rid of that. Now they're all directly connected. So, back to work. I'll show you the rest once it's completed. Hey everybody, I just wanted to point something out really quick. Um, with this uh, Harbach kit, it actually gives you eight 100K resistors instead of the stock 30K resistors, which uh, allows the supply to get the proper amount of equalization resistance across each cap to keep the voltage equal across each cap, and they end up just running a lot cooler. The older style caps, the caps that were in this when I got it were replacements. They weren't the paper type, the really old ones that they come with. 
but these caps have way better regulation to begin with so the newer style caps you don't need a hard um, load across the supply like that to help with the regulation so just way better way better um, than than it was um, back in the day you know with the uh, metering board you know you have the uh, bias diodes mounted right to the board you have the meter protection diodes just you know still way once again way better than the original board as you can see the original board had the plate rectifiers on it one of them had failed at one point and then had the zener for the bias so it's just way better design you know I, I always recommend this if it hasn't already been implemented it's really kicks butt um, you know those bleeders I've seen the stock for the three bleeders run so hot that the plastic like melted these like spacer things that they used you can use these but you know um he provides plastic pieces that the cap slide through then you glue them and then you sandwich this, this sandwich this down you don't want to forget to put the phenolic piece which uh, you know you want to reuse when you go to do this it separates the back of the caps from ground so that's about it I get back to work and I'll take another video of everything else once it's all finished thanks for watching hi right, everybody I'm all finished with this Heathkit SP220 so I ended up replacing the parasitic suppressors over time the value changes Due to heat, so put new original uh, carbon type uh, Allen back Bradley resistors in two watt. I think they're 48 ohm, 47 or 48 ohm, one or the other. Installed the parasitic. I'm sorry, the uh, glitch resistor. I replaced the old braided uh, wire ground strap type wire uh, between the plate blocking cap and the plate choke with new stuff, resoldered it, it's nice 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 and secure I got rid of that old, these are prone to failure, these old Sprague caps when being used as a plate blocker so I put a new Hynergy Corporation 1000 Puff 5KV doorknob cap in I ended up cleaning the output rotary switch um, use deoxit gold. It's good now. Checked all the fins on the air variables. They all look they look good. Made sure they're secured to the chassis, nice and tight. So I ended up replacing the power cord with a new type of strain relief, uh, number twelve uh, S O W type cord. 240 plug came to me wired for 120 customer wanted it wired for 240 so new plug new cord the other one had been repaired um, as I said before replaced the meter lamp bulbs put in the Harbach boards down carefully so grounded the grids Copper strap, one strap per grid connection, uh, assembled and installed soft keyboard, configured for 240 now, connected the new power cord to the line fuses, and fuse uh, breakers, I'm sorry, performed the bias mod. It's like super, it's, it's so important to do these mods, especially the bias mod. Like I said before, it protects the center tap of the filament transformer. If you had a, a filament to um, grid short, it's not easy change, to change the filament transformer, plus the cost of materials um, would bring that repair up 
to a decent amount. So if you do that, you're you're set. Like I said, I tested the fan. That's good. Everything else looks good. So um, re-zip tied all the wiring. Um, let's see what else. I already had the cap changed, so I left that alone. Otherwise, I, I usually change that cap. Yeah, I just want to add another thing here. You always want to check these SO239 connectors. Over time, these pins get spread, or if you know someone were to put the uh, PL59 in crooked, spread the pins. You want to make sure when you go to plug the PL59 in, you have resistance when you go to pull it back out. Otherwise, you can end up with an open between the PL the SO239 and the PL59. You have one for the output, one for the input. Also, this board was added by the by someone at some point measures the output the relative output metering board so when I go to try it if it works I'll leave it I'll compare it to my meter my uh, bird meter and if it doesn't work I'll, I'll pull it out and um, reconnect the, the stock circuit. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm waiting on the new set of graphite tubes. Uh, came to me with original iMac tubes. One of them was a little gassy. It was flashing at about 6 kV, so um, I recommended to the customer that he buy a new set of tubes so he took my advice and he purchased them so I'm just waiting on those and I can plug the tubes and try it out but uh, everything else is working properly I checked it all with the tubes out but I'll check it again with the tubes in check it for proper operation on all bands and then I'll uh, pack it all up and ship it back uh, this took me about seven hours so, uh, you know, to assemble all three kits uh, and do all the other things that I listed, but came out really nice. I do a lot of these, you know, I could just take it, fix it, send it on its way, but, you know, I really like doing modifications and things that will keep it alive for many, many years to come. So, like, you know, these... These hardbox boards make it better. They don't just bring it back to where it was when it was first made. They're actually bringing it to a, 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 a higher level. Um, make it more reliable. Um, better uh, better performance. Once I got the kits, I, I got on it. The next uh, business day. And uh, got it all done. So... That's about it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message through the email on my website, or you can call or text the phone number on my website, which is ampreparaguy.com. I fix lots of amplifiers, all different types. Heath kits, Ameritrons, Dentron, Drake, Homebrew, Steel Tube Amps. I don't really mess around with sweep tube boxes, they're just not worth fixing with the price of tubes. Um, so, if you have something you need repaired, modified, upgraded, or whatever, or if you have some basket case piece, I can fix anything, just boils down to if you want to spend the money. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day, and I'll have more videos to come. Take care.